Yo guys, welcome back to another video on the channel, and today we're going to be taking a look at the best AK-47 class up in the Cold War beta right now. This gun's absolutely cracked, it's got a bit of recoil to it like any AK normally would, but the damage, as always with an AK, is very, very high and just does a lot of damage to everyone you are aiming at. Just quickly before we do jump into the class, guys, if you're new around here, smash the subscribe button with notifications turned on, we're on the road to 5k subs right now, so if you're looking to help us hit that, it'll be absolutely amazing. Also, guys, if you do enjoy the video, smash the big thumbs up on the video as it really does help me out. And let me know your thoughts on this class in the comments below. So, as normal, I'm going to show you the class up. I'm going to run through for the attachments that we are using. And I'm actually going to play a live game at the end, not take one from my stream. I'm actually going to play a live game with this class so you guys can see exactly what it's about. But yeah, guys, we're going to jump straight into the class up right now. So, guys, on the optic, I'm going for the mill stop reflex, which is just actually a really nice sight. It's very, very clean. You guys will see in the gameplay that we are using. It's just a very, very clean sight that we do use. I just like the fact there's eight attachments and you can run eight attachments on each gun. I just really, really like that the Black Ops have done that again just allows you to put any attachments you want on you haven't got to waste any you can run a site if you want to run a site as well as the other attachments and i just really like the options there which is exactly why i've decided to run an optic as there's a slot there for it and i might as well run one because it makes the site a bit better so obviously guys on the muzzle i go for the suppressor which will take you off the radar when you are shooting you don't want to be pinging up on everyone's radars all the time which is why i think a majority of the people run suppressors in call of duty it just you don't want to be appearing on everyone's radar every time you are shooting at someone which is exactly why we run the suppressor so on the barrel guys, I go for the 18.2 inch paratrooper, which will increase the muzzle velocity and a little bit of the recoil control as well, which just makes this gun a bit more accurate. Like, like I said at the start of the video, it's got a lot of kick to it as it is an AK class. So as much recoil as you control, the better, which is exactly why we go for the 18.2 inch paratrooper barrel. So guys, on the underbarrel, I go for the foregrips, which will increase the horizontal recoil control. Therefore, meaning the gun isn't going to bounce around as much as it would do, like I said at the start and just previously in the last attachment. This gun's got a lot of recoil. You want to do everything you can to control the recoil to make it as accurate as possible. So this is exactly why we go for the foregrip. Next up on the body, guys, I actually go for the steady aim laser, which will increase the hip fire accuracy. If you haven't watched any of my previous videos, I always go on about how key hip firing is in this game. I find myself in so many situations where I'm hip firing at enemies, which is exactly why I like to run the hip fire accuracy attachments on the laser which just means that every time you're up close and personal you are going to win them gunfights because you're not you're not wasting time ads in you've got better hip fire accuracy so your bullets aren't going all over the place and you're actually going to win every hip firing gunfight that you're in so next up guys in terms of the stock i use a tactical stock which increase the aim and move speed and just allows you to move around a little bit more while you are ads with this gun and you want to keep your enemies in the line of sight while you're moving about trying to get them behind a little bit more cover then this is the perfect attachment for doing that i don't find the other stocks do anything else i I know a lot of them are locked on this account, but on another account I've been playing on, I've been trying out all the different stocks, guys, and trust me, this is one of the best stocks because the other ones just seem to take away from the accuracy quite a bit and just make the gun have a bit more recoil, which is exactly what this attachment doesn't do, and it does increase the aim and move speed a little bit as well. Next up, guys, on a magazine, we're going for the 40-round speed mags, and like I said, with every attachment that I've done on any class, I love the fact that fast mags are back. They're just brilliant. The fact they're extended fast mags as well just make it even better. You've got 40 rounds in each magazine, and you're reloading them quickly, and it's just a big W in my opinion. This is one of the best attachments you can put on any gun, which is exactly why we're running the 40 round speed mags. And finally, guys, we're going for the drop shot hand grip, and I know it's unavailable at the moment, it's currently locked, but like I said, on another account I've been playing on, I've been using this attachment, and it's so good, the accuracy that it increases. As you can see at the bottom there, it's done probably about a third of the accuracy that's already there, and it just makes this gun so much more playable. It just I know it says aim flinch stability, but you, the, it just controls the recoil a lot nicer as well, which is exactly why we go for this attachment to make it as much of a beam as we possibly can. So guys, as you can see on screen right now is the full overlook at the class setup. You can see the firepower's gone up, the speed's gone up, the accuracy's gone up, and the ammo, of course, has nearly doubled. So guys, like I said, I'm going to jump into a game right now. I'm going to show you guys what this class is capable of, and then you guys can decide whether or not you want to use it in-game or not. So guys, I'm actually going to jump into the new game mode that they've just released, and that is the VOP Escort game mode. One, I want to try the game mode out as I've not played it yet, and two, I just want to get some good gameplay for you, and apparently this is very good for high kill games. So this is exactly what I'm going to try and get for you guys with the AK. Hopefully we can avoid a smaller map like Miami and get a bit of a bigger map, as that's where the AK seems to dominate a bit more, but I'll jump in back with you guys when we're in the game. So guys, we are now actually in the game, and let's try and get some kills together. I don't usually play PlayStation controller, so if my movement and stuff like that isn't great, then you've got to bear with me till next weekend until I can get on keyboard and mouse and really start shredding people up. But we'll do what we can with the PlayStation controller in our hands. We're going to pick up the first kill of the game right now. We're actually going to make that two kills off the bat, which is nice. They should still be spawning in this back spawn. Spawns really shouldn't have flipped just as yet. I did get some mad aim assist through there. I'm not going to lie to you. I, I realised he was there when I picked up the aim assist, which is just one thing about this broken back controller. Obviously now controller players actually do have the upper hand on console in my opinion. Obviously you've got aim assist, you've now got FOV sliders. You've got all kinds of things going on on the console which gives potentially the... Um, other than the fact that the uh, FPS is going to be capped in comparison to what 
uh, PC players can get. But I mean, when you look at PS5 and Xbox uh, Series X's, the uh, the FPS rate. I mean, you're not going to be capped at very very low, are you? It's quite high up. So console players might even have the upper hand now over PC players. But let me know what you guys think in the comments below between keyboard and mouse and console. Uh, or controller players i'm interested to see if you guys are kbm or if you're a console controller player because controller player like i keep saying does have the aim assist but then keyboard and mouse obviously is very very accurate and you can just the movement you can put together with keyboard and mouse is very nice where the hell is everyone right now by the way like i haven't seen a i haven't seen have they got a full squad they have got a full squad there is one of them probably one more up here i reckon as there was a death up here Yep, there he is, the man, the myth, the legend. He's dead now. We're gonna make it. F oh, that, look at how powerful the AK is, boys. That is what I'm saying, man. The AK oh, we do pick up another one there as well. And I get a nice little four kill streak. Put cool in the spy plane. But you guys can just see how powerful that AK is. Like it didn't even let that guy get round the back of the car before he was finished. Did he die or did he not die? He didn't. Clarted. Wow, fair enough, bro. I'll take that. We'll try and get as good. So I want to try and get a chopper gun or an attack chopper in this game if possible. This guy with a sniper is cracked. Fair enough, man. <laughs> credit where credit's due, you know. Credit where credit is due. We're going to try and get a little drop shot off there. That's one thing I don't like. You can't really drop shot in this game. As uh, you, you, you un-ADS every time you do drop. Or if you're on the floor and you're trying to ADS while standing up. Uh, they do un they do un-ADS, which is a bit annoying. It's the one thing with this game. Like here, I was about to ADS and peek back up. But I couldn't get away with it because of the fact that... Uh, because of the fact you can't actually... I'm going to show you exactly what I mean. If you're laying down ADS in, you stand back up, you un-ADS for, for a couple seconds. Which is the one annoying thing about this game. Is there are many situations in Modern Warfare and Warzone where I'd find myself laying behind a rock. I'd just ADS where they are, peek back up and uh, beam at them. I understand why they're taken out because of that sort of reason where you can't lay down and just beam people once you stand back up. Um, we're not doing too well here. We're actually getting, we're actually getting slapped a little bit. I'm not going to lie. So we'll try and we'll try and save it a little bit. I mean, I'm not paying attention. I'm talking about fucking ADS and while laying on the floor. So you know, we'll try <laughs> we'll try and put something together right now, so you guys can read. I mean, you guys have got a good um, a couple good examples in there already of what the AK is capable of and how powerful it can be, which is pretty much the point I wanted to get across for you lot more than anything. Just so you guys can see that the AK is actually a viable option to use as an AR this year, as long as they keep it the same as when the game drops. You know. We're actually not going to pick up that kill there, which is kind of crazy considering the amount of bullets we did actually put into him in comparison to some of the others we've put into players. But, you know, the game's still in beta. There's going to be some inconsistent things like that at the moment. It's unfortunate and frustrating, but, you know, it's beta, as I just said. We're going to... We are going to pick up that kill there. I'm going to try and get into a little bit of cover before he jumps around the corner, which is exactly what he managed to do. We're on 9-9 nine and nine right now. Really nothing crazy going on, but, you know... Like I said, I just want to get some good examples to show you guys exactly what the AK is capable of more than anything. We're going to beam at him. You can see how much damage it does every time it does actually hit the enemy. It's difficult too because of the kick and the recoil that this gun has. But when you are hitting the shots and the shots are connecting, it's game over for the opponents. Apart from if they've got a sniper and they're going to one-shot you. Which that guy, and I can't even complain about the people who we're playing against with snipers right now. They're just very good with the sniper. They're just very, very good sniping players. So you can't really complain too much about that. You know, you you got a bigger bigger advantage as you can possibly have over them, but they're just they're just cracking onto players. He's going to be annoyed because he got hit, Mark. We got away very lucky with that one. I'm not going to lie to you. That top window would probably have someone in it. It actually doesn't, and he's been hard scoping me for a good 30 seconds there. What can you do, boys? But we'll ping an aid over. We'll try and get a couple more kills going on. What are we on right now? 50 for the the full squad. So there's potential to still pick up a few amount of kills. The players with the snipers, like I keep saying, they're very, very good sniping players. You can't really complain a whole bunch about what we're playing against right now. There's not really a lot of complaining that you can do. He is sitting in that top window, which is a bit of the frustrating position to try and get people out of. It's one of the, the nastiest head glitches in this game, in all honesty. We've managed to pick up that kill there. Actually, I think we got, we got robbed clean from the nade that was thrown in there. He does pick up the kill, so... Will, oh my Harry, oh my goodness, uh, that's terrible from my, that is terrible from me. I'm not gonna lie to you, that's just, that's just bad playing from me. We're still managing to go positive. I can't, I, I'm struggling in this game. I'm not gonna lie. There's very good players in the game that we're playing against right now. Obviously, SBMM being one of the key talking points about uh, modern or multiplayer right now, 
Nobody knows if it's going to be fully in the game or if it's like low key in the game or what. But we're, we're streaking up a little bit. Of course, we get killed by an artillery. I say we're streaking up. We got two kills. I mean, it's, it's not really a streak, is it? But you know, got you got to be positive from what you can get here. We st we actually do stun an enemy. It's going to be this guy here who's going to be annoyed because he hit marked me with a sniper. That's one thing I have noticed with snipers. You do pick up a lot of hit markers unless it's like shoulders or above. And if it's not that high up, then you do you do seem to pick up quite a few hit markers. Which is quite annoying, but you know, it is what it is. They've, they've given sniping a massive nerf since the alpha, which they said they were going to do. And they did, warn, uh, they did warn everyone of it. But it would have been nice to see it leave. Left quite OP in all honesty. I can hear someone behind me. And there it is. That just shows you exactly how good the uh, the sound is on this game, guys. It just it just the sounds very very good on this game, as you guys could could see there. We're gonna call in the artillery. I don't know if we're gonna be able to get a chopper. I think we're a bit too. Uh, I think TDM's a bit too small for that, which is unfortunate. And I've not played well enough, but you know it is what it is. We've still had a fairly decent game. We've still got some nice kills and examples of what the um, the AK is capable of within the game. So you guys can decide whether or not you want to use it for yourself. If you guys think you're gonna do better than me, which you know. Chances are you probably will. We're going to get another couple kills there. We're going to get tinked off from the side. There's not a lot you can do when you're in the enemy spawn, really. Obviously, guys, like I said, this gameplay hasn't been amazing gameplay, but it's been it's been fairly good. It's been decent enough for me to um to post it for you guys so you can get an idea of what the AK is like. We went 22 and 18 in the end, which actually wasn't too bad. My guy Tyson, Mike Tyson, went 23 and 7. GG's to him. And like I say, these, these snipers were just very good. They've got a nice sniping class up going on. I'm going to get some sniping class ups out for you guys pretty soon. I'm going to be streaming today. At the time of you watching this, I might be live. If not, I'll be live tomorrow. Um, so you guys can come through to the stream if you want and uh, chill out. We're gonna, Like I say, I'm going to be leveling up the snipers and trying to hit some sniper shots for you guys to make a good video on that for you. If you have enjoyed the video, smash the big thumbs up. Let me know your thoughts on the class in the comments below. But yeah, guys, we'll catch you in the next one. Take it easy.